what you're going to listen to is absolutely true, which is kind of funny. I hope you get a little bit of enjoyment out of uh, Paul's uh, great presentation here, but there's going to be a test at the end. Who the heck is Ken MacArthur, and what has he ever done anyway? Well, he was born in Elvis' hometown. Squeezed chickens in Mississippi, ran away from the home at the age of five on the wild streets of Miami Vice and chewed on toy soldiers to stay alive. Summited Jimmy Rapp at the largest ranch in New Mexico long before reaching his seventh birthday. Could be seen in a patrol car with screaming sirens being driven to the radio station to be interviewed after being pronounced Bicycle Safety Rider of the Week. Starred in a musical boyfriend, played against a beautiful senior girl as a freshman. Was a radio DJ who gave away free pizza. He danced in an opera. He volunteered for the army during the Vietnam War. Ran for miles, always in the back of the pack. Shot an M16 rifle and completely avoided death. Learned to program a computer using punch cards that helped the mathematics team that was doing calculations for the first space shuttle. He bought a fish, which led him to buy a pet store, which led him to selling tropical fish to George Jones and Tammy Wynette. He played bass and sang in a southern rock band, eating way too much smoke and drinking way too many custom-made drinks from the bartender called Sprite, but consisted of 99% syrup and 1% fizz. He was trained by the FBI to be a cop in Lakeland, Florida, where he covered the entire southern half of the city by himself on the graveyard shift. He gave up policing to build a recording studio from scratch, which led him to writing and recording a Tiny Tim disco song. He drove 3,000 miles nonstop across the country in a VW bug with no spare tire, nothing but gas money, no friends, and a copy of L.A. on $10 a night, blowing two tires along the way and flopping in L.A. with a separated tread on a third tire. Completely broke, he landed a job driving a paint truck just in time to squeak by in the YMCA long enough to get offered a position of editor and recording engineer producer of the International Trade Magazine for the recording industry. He took a front page photo of Herb Albert as they installed the very first digital recorders at AM Records. He designed wig cases for Dolly Parton, harmonica cases for the Blue Brother, and road cases for the Doobie Brothers, Stevie Wonder, and James Taylor, just to name a few. He sold computers to Steven Spielberg and helped design the program pioneering research on nonprofit organizations including Billy Graham, World Vision, Chuck Colson, Prison Ministries, and more. He went back to college at the ancient age of 30 and did a four year degree in two and a half years while holding down two and a half full time jobs to support a wife and two kids. He earned a teaching credential and a master's degree in choral conducting and composition. He directed choirs and orchestras, sang in operas, and stage managed the U Turp Professional Opera in the Dorothy Chandler Pavilion two weeks before the Oscars were staged there. He yelled, Wait a minute, I need a simpler life. So he moved to 80 acres in Missouri, drove a big raised pigs, chickens, geese, rabbits, dogs, and 18 cats, and chopped way too much wood. He programmed an entire factory because their time clock broke. He moved to PA to be part of a three-person team that programmed all of the forecasting logistical software for Pepsi. He helped sell the same to Coke. He started his own IT business in the dot-com boom, developing $30,000 portal systems for building communities and creating multiple websites in the top 3,000 websites on the internet. He took one of his websites to 362 out of all the websites in the world in the first day of pre-launch. He has produced live events, workshops, and masterminds around the country with many of the top marketers in the world. As the official mentor for Sterling Valentine, as he took his launch from zero to over $100,000 in less than eight days, Ken and Sterling documented the process as a proof of concept for Info Product Blueprint, a massive home study course. That is the Bible of info product creation. He created the Speak Up Save Lives campaign, which got a simple message of hope to over 30 million people in 30 days to prevent teen suicide. He wrote the Impact Manifesto, You Make a Difference Whether You Want to or Not, which was selected for publication by Seth Godin's brainchild, Change This, and produced it as a short film to benefit over 100 nonprofit organizations. Wrote a screenplay for the Impact Factor feature narrative film, working with a three time Academy Award winning screenwriter and producer. Reviewed auditions from over 2,000 actors. Built a network of over 5,000 filmmakers in the Philadelphia area. Successfully funded a $26,000 Kickstarter campaign. He completed production for the movie under schedule and under budget. He edited sound design, did special effects, and did color grading, and sang three songs for the movie, and finally wrapped up post production and screened it to 150 cast members and select backers right here in Newtown, Pennsylvania this summer. Since then, the guy has barely done anything. So what's he going to do now? Let's find out.